Hello everyone! Welcome back to my Chinese brush painting class, lesson 23. Today's subject matter is Magnolia. Magnolia is a very popular Chinese brush painting subject matter next to the four gentlemen, I think. Uh, it's also a spring flower and they bloom in the mountains in China and also in the cities and the gardens around the world. And uh, uh, in many places, they're still blooming, I believe, in uh, in middle April when I'm doing this class. In LA, they bloomed last month in March. So every spring, I would do with uh, magnolia. Uh, it's a season of flower. It's a symbol of uh, spring, as well as uh, cherry and uh, plum blossoms. And magnolia is a symbol of uh, feminine beauty because the shape and the color of the flower is very elegant, very beautiful, like a pretty ladies and palace beauty especially. They always grow in the palace and uh, in the gardens, in rich families, in nobility. So they are considered as uh, the orchid on the tree, or mulan. And in classical Chinese, mulan, you are familiar with this name because they always uh, used as a female name, meaning tree orchid. That's the Chinese name for magnolia in the past. They are also known as the uh, yulan, meaning jade orchid. And uh, there are other names for this, this flower. For example, mu bi, meaning uh, wood or tree brush, brush on the tree, if you will. So uh, it's a very popular literary painting or poetic painting subject matter because, you know, as a feminine beauty, they don't last long and it's very seasonal. Uh, it's only in about two weeks uh, they were gone. Uh, so it's all, always uh, painted by the artist and uh, written by poets about their uh, impermanent beauty. And uh, so it's very uh, poetic, romantic flower. Um, we're going to learn this uh, flower uh, based on two styles. As you can see here, first, my teacher, Master Zhang Zhenying's uh, uh, sample painting. Uh, this painting was done by my, my teacher in 1986 right before I come to the States. Uh, it's a outlined white magnolia with a bird and some bees. And uh, on this side, you can see a long scroll, a long uh, hanging scroll I haven't mounted. It's uh, uh, sent it to me from Beijing University Foreign Language Department. A professor named Hu Leping a uh, professor who is specialized in painting boneless style or uh, no outline style magnolia. So I have studied both the outline style and boneless style for many years. So I, in this lesson I will show you step by step how to do the outlined white ma magnolia and also the colored ones in, um, you can see on my back, the uh, purple ones and the pink, pinkish uh, magnolias. So they're white and the purple and something in between, light pink and uh, light green, all kinds of uh, uh, varieties. They are all suitable for Chinese brush painting. So um, we're going to learn how to use color to do this or just use uh, pure ink in sumi or uh, ink and water style. The flower is uh, very large, it's like a, a big tree sometimes, uh, some small as a bush in the garden. So it's very uh, useful to learn. So you can do a very large painting with this flower because the flower is relatively bigger than uh, the other tree blossoms we have learned, like uh, plum and cherries 
a peach. So it's a large tree blossom. However, we need to concentrate on the parts, the bud, the flower, different uh, blooming stage, and uh, most importantly, how to do the bare branches, just like uh, uh, plant blossom. It's very um, calligraphic, and uh, we need to learn the different uh, rules, uh, various rules in painting those uh, the branches, the principle of uh, composition. Um, so after you learned how to do small parts with uh, uh, one flower and a few bud on a small scale, then uh, you can do a bigger painting with more details. When you you know go large whole sheet of a painting, so be patient to practice the uh, basics and the, the skills or techniques before you can express yourself with a, a large sheet of painting. After we do some practice, a complete painting in the end of this uh, lesson. Second part of this uh, lesson, again I would uh, work with uh, a assistant student, Rebecca from Santa Monica. We had a live workshop in March last month uh, on this uh, flower um, and I have taught her from very beginning how to do basic strokes and uh, um, you can practice those on the magic cloth and uh, then you can do it on the paper uh, after you master the basic strokes. I hope this uh, live workshop video will benefit you as well even you cannot come to my studio. Uh, you will see how I uh, teach in hand-on manner uh, in this video. So uh, let's go to the first section, the demo of basic uh, steps. I have collected some uh, uh, masterpieces uh, from the very famous uh, Artists like Bada Sanren, Qi Bai Shi, and uh, Pan Tian Shou uh, to my teacher's work and uh, my friend's uh, paintings. So I will, I will include in the handout so you can also learn from.